Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to use the <coughs> Reaper 2.0 plugin on Cinema 4D. I have the R14 edition. And I'm just going to show you how to use this plugin. Now just for reference, I'm going to open up a document I made today um, for something. Um, so I'm going to open my logo render. And as you can see, um, that's kind of screwed up because um, it's a long story, but this the background coiling would be <coughs> gone at that point. Um, it looked like that. And as you can see, my project has these like kind of lines and those lines. And I'm going to show you how to use the tool basically and link a download link to it. It's pretty simple. I'll be doing a few R14 Cinema 40 you know, things. Um, some videos coming up. So let's just make a or open a new file. Um, say I want to get this. Um, I grab this file. This it can be any file. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit the middle mouse button, go to front view. Now you're gonna go up into freehand. Make sure you select freehand there. Um, there's a lot of things this could be. It's just the one next to the cube. Just hold it and go freehand. Now, say I want to add those long, like, um, they call it a, a devil render, that's what they call it. Um, then you want to just take it, or sorry, that's a little too much curve, you just want to have a little bit of curve, as you can see. So now that I have that curve, you can see my spline, it's actually called the spline, um, and you go to your plugins, Reaper 2.0, drag up on your spline. Now if you click on Reaper 2.0, you'll see these things what you want to do is turn down the coils actually you can hit your middle mouse button and go here as you can see up um, I'd bring this down to about five <clears throat> but it's all different on the different sizes and you can do three four whatever you want I'm gonna do four for this tutorial distance we're gonna turn up to about 22 I think right there and as you can see you have a tube now you can move this tube back and do cool like f you know photoshop type things and if you want to texture it it's really simple you just take your mat and you drag it on you know as always cubic and seamless and now you have a very cool looking coil <coughs> now we're going to show you another thing you can do so let's just delete this <coughs> I'm going to show you how to do kind of like a so weave through the text so you're gonna go back and you're gonna take your freehand tool and you're just gonna weave through the text and you can come up and go down it's kind of something simple here now you do the same thing plugins Reaper 2.0 drag like this then what we're gonna want to do is click on it bring it backwards sorry about that you gotta make sure you're in the selection tool bring this backwards um, we can rotate it if we really want and bring it forwards and as you can see you can do something cool like that you can do a lot of different things with this plugin for C40 and if you don't know how to install plugins I can do a tutorial on that but it's pretty simple so thanks for watching guys and this was a short video it is kinda late I've been doing a lot of work um, on editing tonight, so I really didn't have time for a BO3 video, but I still wanted to bring you some uh, content tonight. So, just a simple editing tutorial for your beginning editors out there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace out.